What is up guys, it is the Gaming New Stuff here and today we are back with another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. Now following the success of my top 5 characters to farm in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, I've decided to make kind of a follow up video to that. And this one is my top 5 favourite characters for the Galactic War. Now disclaimer at the beginning, uh, basically healers are going to be grouped into like, I'm not going to just go through all healers because I'd say healers are the best for the Galactic War, but you'll see what I mean. So number one for the Galactic War, in my opinion, is Luminara. Now she was in the previous video, but the reason I've chosen Luminara is because of her heal. Since the Galactic War, your characters keep their health over the different battles, you need a healer or else they're all going to die really quickly, even if your team's incredibly strong. So. As we know, Ma Master Healer's Blessing from Luminara is an incredibly good heal. She also does heaps of damage, which is, yeah. So Luminara is definitely the best, uh, one of the best characters for the Galactic War because of her heal. And again, if you need to know where to farm Luminara, you can come over here to the Galactic War and in down here in Redeem, there you go, Luminara 400 Galactic War Shards. Next up on the list is actually Jedi Consular. Now, going through the healers I have, I would recommend maybe the use of Barris Offy, but I don't have her, so I'm not going to put her in this list because I haven't actually used her. But yeah, the Jedi Consular. Now, he's easy to get. You get him at the beginning of the game, pretty much, and pretty easy to farm, I'd say. So again, I've chosen him because he's got a heal, which is decent, not the best heal in the game, but it's always helpful to have some sort of heal. Now, you can find him on 1B hard, 1D hard, 3C hard, there and there, 6E and 3A on the Squad Cantina battles. Now, again, he's not that strong, but he's there for his heal to allow for your teammates to basically survive longer. Next up on the list in number three, these aren't in any specific order, by the way, is Old Ducker. Now, I've chosen Old Ducker once again because of her heal ability. Heals 27.5% of Old Ducker's max health, but it also gives you a 35% chance to revive a teammate. Now, this is really helpful because if your teammate dies and you use this ability, you could bring them back, which is really good in Galactic War because once you lose them, they're gone, you can't use them anymore. And she also has Serve Again which means it says a 10% uh, sorry, 10 chance to revive a teammate that dies anyway, just as like a passive ability. So she is really good for Galactic War, especially if you get her up higher. I need to keep farming her, but she is another good character for Galactic War. Now, I normally use the three healers, and then we're going to have a look at the other two units I normally use. So the first one is Ray. Now, Ray is pretty goddamn sweet as I said in the last one she's pretty difficult to farm but she basically does so much damage that I can't turn her down so normally she's used to take out Sidious I use her to take out Sidious on the beginning because most people have a Sidious on their team because if you can take him out your healers don't have a problem there won't be any healing immunity on your team and she'll wipe them out easily and you can find Ray at 2A hard, light side, 5D hard, dark side, and 7B hard, dark side. I'm also going to quickly show you, sorry, where to farm Old Ducker if my iPad stops lagging like crazy. So Old Ducker can be found in the Squad Cantina battles down in Redeem. She can be found right there. That's the easiest way to get her. You can also farm her on a few story missions, but that's the easiest. And last but not least is Count Dooku again. The reason I use Count Dooku is he can be used to quickly take out or do a decent amount of damage to an enemy at the beginning, like a, an enemy that's really threatening to your team with his amazing speed and ability to take out Jedi really quickly, as well as the Master Tactician ability, which gives all allies 15% evasion, which is really bloody good in Galactic War because the more hits you can avoid, the longer you're going to survive. So we're going to jump just into the first Galactic War battle just to show you guys kind of how the team works. So as you see here, we're not up against anything amazing, but this is just an idea of how it works. So let's just switch all these out. Chuck Luminara in, the Jedi Consular, Old Ducker, and Ray. So that's how I set up my team normally. Count Dooku is the leader. Sometimes I'll substitute him for Darth Sidious, but 
you know, Count Dooku has become so popular now, I feel like he's probably the better option. So as you see here, we jump straight into the match. Now what we'll do is we'll stun Luminara, just so she doesn't have, she's not a worry. And then we probably don't need to use this attack on her, so we'll just hit her with this to hopefully wipe her out. There we go. Now their Geo Sol is not that powerful, so he didn't do too much damage to us. But we'll take him out before he can get another one of those attacks out on us. Because as you guys probably are learning by now, the Geonosian soldier is becoming really quite dangerous. So as you see, they had over two healers on their team. Or three, sorry, if you count Luminara. So we'll take out the healers pretty easily with the use of Count Dooku and his stun on Jedis. And hit him up and then wipe him out. And then take out Talia. Talia, not 100% sure how it's pronounced. I don't, haven't watched all of the Clone Wars. I've only watched like the first season or so. And then you see we're not really low enough to heal, but since the Jedi Consular's heal doesn't heal that much, might as well heal up to pretty much full health for the next battle. So that way we've still got two uh, heals on Luminara and on Dukkha that are full. So in the next battle, if we get hit by something powerful, we can just heal up straight away. And as you see, you basically just go through like that. It's pretty simple to beat the Galactic War once you farm a decent team and you've got enough healers to take you all the way. And, oh yeah, sorry, to find Count Dooku quickly, you can easily farm him at 1C hard on both light and dark side and 6G normal, which is where I farm him. I almost have him to seven stars, which I'm super keen for. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed that video and hopefully it helps out anyone that can't beat the Galactic War yet with an idea of the strategy. You can substitute Rey for, since Rey's quite difficult, you can substitute her for Darth Sidious or Qui-Gon Jinn or something. Just someone that can do a decent amount of damage and take out the enemy team. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below your favourite Galactic War team, and subscribe for more Star Wars Galaxy Heroes videos, and peace out.